imagine that you were on a desert island. What would you do? Swim away? Call for help? Look for food? Try not to get into a situation like this. Better watch our new humorous video with funny and real survival life hacks. The most desired holidays turn into the most terrible nightmares. My ship's wrecked and I am completely alone on a desert island. Well, actually not completely. Fortunately, my friend managed to save herself. And she keeps her composure, as opposed to me. Thank God that my suitcase is safe and sound. On the downside, it has nothing for survival. It is full of tools for DIY. And what should I do with them? Cover myself with wet paper? Hot glue the rocks around? Mix sand with glitter? My entire baggage is useless. Maybe I will manage to exchange my crown for food. And my friend keeps her chin up. Curly soon, no survival life hacks using whatever you've got on hand. We have sticky tape, scissors, wire, and even a knife. This set of tools can help you survive not only on a desert island, but also in open space. I'm totally desperate. Besides the fact that the island is deserted, it is also dirty. There are empty plastic bottles and ropes scattered everywhere. But my friend comes up with a great life hack. She ties up a few plastic bottles and puts the handmade life vest on me. Then she fastens it with tape nicely so that it won't slip off. I definitely won't drown with a life ring like this. And my friend will be swimming along with a piece of foam plastic. But experience proves that the foam plastic and the bottle life vest are not reliable. The first wave ruins all of our survival plans. Then I decide to send out an SOS signal. Some sailors should see me for sure, or hear me if I scream very loudly. My friend says that I'm a remarkable girl, especially if I take a big stick. But my friend wants to maximize my chances and ties my bright skirt to the stick. Someone will definitely notice us with a flag like this, except that my arms get tired from waving the flag. And there is no wind. It doesn't look like an SOS signal. It rather looks like I'm hanging laundry. I've spent so much energy to save myself that I'm feeling hungry. How do people catch fish with a stick in movies? I can do it! Finally, I find something useful between the rocks. It's an exotic bird egg. I bring this treasure to my friend. She offers to make a fried egg, and we use a rock heated by the sun instead of a frying pan. Break the egg and pour it onto a rock, and wait until it gets fried under the sun. We put the fried egg onto a big leaf. It's a pity that we don't have a knife and a fork in our travel kitchen. One more problem is to save ourselves from sunstroke. I try to cover my head with a leaf. Why? There is an easier way. Put your t-shirt on your head, and a stylish bandana is ready. These bananas are so beautiful, but they are hard to reach. Oops, the flies. They are so terrible. What the heck? There is no escape from these horrible insects. I will sit on a palm and hope they won't reach me here. The world around is definitely set against me. And what if some wild animals come out of the bushes all of a sudden? And Curly Sue is a brave traveler. She's arranged a giant fly costume to blend into the hostile environment, and the entire jungle will be afraid of her. The big green-eyed fly rubs her hands and goes hunting. Draw elongated fly wings on a big piece of cardboard. One wing is wider and another one is narrower. Cut them out. Paint the wings with white paint and a sponge. Make veins with a black marker and make an identical second set of wings. Hot glue the narrow detail overlapping the wider one. Hot glue the base of the wings to a cardboard rectangle with two strings. Let's make eyes. Trace two joining circles on cardboard. Put round glasses in the center and mark a diameter of the lenses. Put a cup of the appropriate size onto the marks and trace it twice. Cut out with a knife.
Paint it white and hot glue the glasses to the back. Attach blue sticky string pieces. These will be lashes. Define the edges of the mask using a black marker. I can only fight these annoying tropical insects. Oh my god! A giant fly! Ah! And I wake up in my bed. Phew! It's just been a nightmare. I need to tell my friend as soon as possible. We are going on a voyage with her soon. But Curly Sue is completely calm as usual. She assures me that there is no reason to worry because these are tried and tested life hacks. A flashlight is broken? Not a problem. A few crayons will help you add some light when you're outside. Ignite the bottom part of a crayon and wait until the fire gets up to the wrapper. After this, our improvised candle will keep burning. We ignite crayons. They're burning like real candles. So choose what you do with these crayons when outdoors. Either draw the landscapes or illuminate your tent. The matches are wet after the rain. They don't burn. It's all for nothing. What is moist? It's a common problem for loads of campers, but it can be solved with Tic Tacs. Hide matches in a Tic Tac box to protect them from getting wet. Cut off side parts of the box for igniting. Put them into the box and put in the matches as well. The matches will remain dry in this box even if they fall into the sea. You can ignite them easily. Use waxed cotton or insulating tape to make your matches burn longer. Cover a match with one or two layers of insulating tape. This match will burn much longer. A match wrapped in insulating tape has a bright flame. If you prepare the entire box of matches like this, you may not worry that you'll run out of them ahead of time. Only a match dipped in wax burns longer than a match wrapped in insulating tape. Wrap a match with a layer of cotton. Then, dip it into melted candle wax. Put the matches in the box when the wax is dry. You may ignite a bonfire with only one match like this and warm up together with your friends. By the way, if your feet have gotten cold and there is no bonfire nearby, you may use the next simple life hack. Hide your feet into an open backpack. In this way, you will warm them up faster. If the backpack is big, there will be enough space for your friend's feet too. It starts raining and there are no raincoats in the backpack. It's easy to fix. Use a big trash bag instead of a raincoat. Put it on and make a cut for the hood. There is nothing to worry about in this stylish raincoat. Neither rains nor wild animals. And if wild animals happen to attack us, we will be able to fight back. We will make a crossbow out of a balloon and a bottle. Cut off a top part of a plastic bottle. Unscrew the cap and put a balloon onto the neck. Fasten it with tape. Put in a bamboo stick. Pull the balloon and shoot. Now we are armed like wood elves. No one will catch us off balance. But we need to aim carefully not to hit other campers. I hear some noise when sitting alone in a tent. Oh dear, what if it's a scary animal? Hot glue two tree sticks to a plastic headband to imitate deer horns. Add some smaller twigs to make the horns more voluminous. You may cover them partially with acrylic paint and cover the headband with the same color. Wrap a leather string around the headband and fasten it with hot glue. Curly Sue is going to terrify her friend. She puts on wooden horns and sneaks to the tent quietly. It's Forest Deer! Hello! Oh my god! She's almost made my heart stand still! Well, actually these horns are quite nice. Let me try them on too!
Did you like our survival life hacks? Then write in your comments which one would come in handy to you. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so 